Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is React full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we deep dived into the folder structure of the Create React app. Extremely important episode, I would say, because if you have missed that, you would miss out on the basic understanding and the fundamentals of the entire project. Make sure that you go through that. Today, we are learning about some of the built-in scripts, how to run them, what they do. After this, you would have a clear picture of what this entire setup that we did and the repo of Create React app. That's what we are learning today, the built-in scripts. This is part five of the episode. Make sure that you have gone through all the four episodes. It's very, very important, especially as a beginner, to have a correct understanding and fundamentals clear. That would only help you master React. So we are talking about the built-in scripts today. Now there are four main built-in scripts that are available in Create React app. We can always extend them, we can always add our custom ones, but these are the four that comes built in. First is the npm start, which is nothing but starting and initializing your development server. It will compile the code, it will start the server, open the app in a web browser. The next is the npm test, which will help us run the test runner. Okay. Now there are two types of test runners. One is Zest, one is the React testing library. Now we can watch them in the watch mode, but you can also run them in the terminal. I will show all of the scripts uh, hands-on also, so don't worry about that. The next is the npm run build. Now what this does is that once your application is ready, you want to have a minified, optimized code for better performance, and you take that code and host it on a web server or a hosting platform. The last one is the npm run eject. When you know when you are this is something that's a one way operation. OK, you can't undo it. But if you are an advanced one and you know that what changes you want to make to the underlining libraries or the modules, let's say like Bebel or Webpack or some other uh, library that you want to customize you can eject them and then get this configurations and edit it. So this one command we will do little later in the series. I don't want you to get confused today. What we will do today is run all these three and I'll show you the demo. Let's get started. All right, so the episode today is what? Five, episode five, yeah. So episode number five. And today we are learning about the built in scripts all right so the first command that will run is npm run npm start okay you don't have to write in run so open the terminal okay a lot of you have asked me how do i open the terminal there are shortcuts on the keyboard that i use but if you're not sure about the shortcuts you can what you can do you can go to that particular project folder and right click and you can open in integrated terminal OK, so that way it will open the terminal right inside the editor. All right. So the first command we are seeing the built in script. Now, where do you see that? OK, so very important um, package dot JSON. OK, this file. This file has all the scripts that you will need. Right now, if you open your package dot JSON, you will see this under the scripts you will see start, build, test, and eject. OK, so this when you say npm start, it will run this command, which is react scripts start. When you say npm build, it will run this command. If you say test, it will run this command and so on. So be, and when you want to add custom ones, you can add like this and say uh, prod, CSS, whatever like scripts you want to add, you can add it in, in between this. That's where you will add your custom scripts that we will do little later in the code in the series. But today we are learning and mastering these inbuilt ones. So you know where to look for the commands that is package.json under scripts, you'll find them. The first one we are learning is npm start. So just type in the terminal npm start and it is running react script starts which is what we and it compiled it has built the, our application and opened up in the browser that's what this does and you will see this message okay it has hot reloading which means every time you make some changes to the code 
it will get compiled <coughs> so that's for starting the development server now the next one is npm test now what npm test will do is it will find all the test files which is ending with dot test dot js and will execute them the test runner so if you see if you want to watch you can press a and it will start running the test dot js you can see here that it has passed you can see here it is running app test dot js so this is for executing the tests in the project this is for starting the development server at port 3000 by default okay then once you run the test you know it is executing that's well and good you can see the test results that's what npm test will do the next command is npm build once you know that your application is ready you have tested it everything looks good now right now look at it there is no dist folder but now when you run npm build it will give you an optimized npm run build it is running react scripts build and now you see there is a build folder which comes up and it has all the code js minified cs minified okay so you see that css code is all minified same way with js code it's all minified code that you are getting right so when do we run the build command whenever we want to deploy whenever we want to deploy slash host our application you will run the npm build command so that you get the optimized code which you can host it the last command is the npm eject now this is where it's an advanced uh, I would say command don't run it today okay I'm marking it as a to do that means we will do it as we progress in the series this is used to configure to do custom configurations for the dependencies okay like let's say you want to customize webpack you want to customize babel etc we can use the eject command and then we can customize it so those are the built-in commands that are available as part of the package.json as part of the default what we will be using heavily is npm start and test as part of our development we will use npm start for development purpose we will also write tests as we move along so we will run npm test i hope this is clear i hope all your concepts are clear in the next episode i am going to show you how to install bootstrap framework because we will need a framework of ui and i would prefer uh, bootstrap for this particular uh, series uh, that's also used heavily in other enterprises that will give you a complete picture so in the next episode we will learn about how to install bootstrap in our create react app we are slowly getting there to start beginning to start creating our application okay i hope this series you're enjoying you're having fun you're learning please let me know if you have any doubts and queries thank you so much for joining in this episode see you in the next one